I see a live button, we should be good now. Very nice. Okay, so I need some stuff for the prison. Welcome in. Uh, let's find the new scarecrow. So we need this guy. Maybe we'll do one of these for the wall. I wonder if I can get that in the wall to where that side circle, if I can get that just sticking out, make it look like it's something cool sticking out, maybe? We'll see. We'll see what we can come up with. I think we need to have some torture devices in the prison. Of course, this is the good old tried and true, so we'll take that as well. Here's something also I want to try. So the forge, I want to see if I can make the the top that's above the little fire right there, the coals, if you will. I want to see if I can make that a grill in our top for the um, for like the bar, the the like bar kitchen area. That ought to be real interesting. See if I can get that to work. We could have a single oven back there. What else? I wonder if we could put the front of that sticking out of the wall to make it look like a keg in the wall. Maybe? Obviously that can go in there. And then we need a head. Uh, I do like this head for what we're going to do with it. That's weird to me right there. There you go. That helps. Uh, stand. Okay, so we're going to need... You know what? I have one of those down there. We'll grab the one that's down there. And then I need... chest the legs and the boots Do any other just like red legs not really okay so we'll try that out make our little dude in the wall uh, like uh, semi crucified what's going on over here me use it darker over here. Can't just be because I closed that wall up. There was no fire over there to light it. Why is this so dark right here? Uh. How was this all bright yesterday? And now it's just dark. This whole thing was lit up yesterday. <laughs> I am confuzzled. Oh, I wonder if it has to do with having these doors open. No way if that's it. Well, that was not it. I, I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. That's really odd and I need to fix something in the floor there. For right now, let's just do one of these. That'll work. Just something to get some light going. Alright, so let's see. God, it's so weird. It was so much brighter here yesterday. This is all the same brightness. It's all normal here. 
Okay. Uh, it's just me, I guess. My eyes deceive me. Alright, because we're going to be working with this. Let's stick this on the wall. I need to be able to see when I'm working. In fact, let's stick one in here too. Alright, so I'm thinking this one's going to be the empty one. This one's going to be the one that has the dude in it. Alright, so we need this. Yep, that's good. One block up. This can be tough. Let's get my camera in. There we go. So it's basically right. Two and a half up, okay. There you go. Now, uh, I did not bring a stool. Right, I was going to see what I can do with some of these. So, definitely going to want this because we got to have uh, implements of torture. And then, I think this is something we're going to stick out of the wall like I normally do because I like doing that. This is something I want to see. I think I can stick it in the wall to where just the wheel. And that's coming out. I don't know what we'll make of it, but it could be... Oh, man, if we can figure out how to make a rack, uh, that device where they would stick you on it, and they would crank it, and it would stretch your limbs. If we could figure out and use this as the the, the wheel mechanism t that turns, uh, we, we're going to have to look at some of the equipment and see what we can come up with. And, of course, this job. He stick it in the wall, and I got some stuff there, too. So those are all good for the space. This, I want to see if I can... I might be able to get it to where the coals are sticking up. Uh, but it's going to have a hammer and stuff. The idea is the tabletop comes right to the top of this and it looks like it's a grill. Of course, we all know to do with this. We'll stick it in the wall. Have a pot of something yummy. Or if we can make this in any way. Bring some block up a little bit. Stick this in the wall far enough. Honestly, about right there. So here let's let's try this as a as a rough idea. Let's go to this block. Here, let's go over here. Now, because I need to be able to get to this. Take that out. Where'd it go? Alright, so it will come in like this. Can I just chunk? No, I cannot. It's like, you shall not pass. Okay, we'll take this out. Try it like this. Now we need to get that out so they can fit. Probably not going to look anything like what we, what we really want from it. It, 
you know, trying to make it look like it's a keg. Since we, since without the builder's companion, we can't lay things, we can't lay the barrels on their side. So then, if I. that out we just leave all that other stuff it's reasonable I mean it kinda sorta whatever we'll figure something out and then of course this is gonna be in here cook stuff all right we need to get so we got that we got that we got this we need a stool Let's just get another four because I'm sure we'll need some. You know what? Two also. He might have he might be hollow wall stuff. Let's give him a medium crypt table down there. And Yeah. Well, I'm sure we can find other uses for those. Okay, so we got head goes on that, it goes there. We've got the mannequin downstairs, we got those pieces there. We got his table, his chair for the like the warden, the jailer, the whatever we're calling that guy. It sits out there and you know deals with the Also, I thought about this I'm not against using these fences, but I want to do like it's just a quick and dirty. Do something like uh, not with that material. So you'd have your lane, right? Your your target practice, your your lane so that you're not messing with somebody else and I don't know if I go across or leave the spikes, but something like that. And we'll figure out exactly how we're going to do it later, but that that's an idea. All right. Now for the fun part. Let's get this. That should be high enough. Okay. Now for the fine tuning and getting this just right. Needs to be kind of like that. I think that's way too far in, but we'll find out. So all the way up is probably too much. Man, that doesn't. Just seems like it's too, too much. It's not bad. It could come forward a little bit more, but it's not bad. Now let's see with the with this, how close we can get it and do it the right direction helps. So the head's not high enough at all. And I definitely need to bring it in more because I'm having to push this way, way back. Okay, so the head needs to be higher. I do want to actually bring it a little closer out. Can I, can I stack another chair table in there so that I know where I'm at? I might be able to. No, I can't. Okay. Let's get something super close so I can really... No, not that type. Really want to be able to see where I'm putting this. Okay, so it's going in... 
almost half. So it was in like about that. Let's bring it out just a hair. I want this about that, and we need to go up pretty much as high as it goes. Okay, so we'll try it that way. It really still needs to be higher. It's crazy. I'm going to have to go up one and then bring the head down really far. Okay. So now the issue is this has to be the head's going to have to be down very low to that. Going up that high is going to be wrong. Let's try. Okay, first off, where are we at? Right there. Let's try that. I think that's going to be too high. Way too high. It's going to have to be pretty much slammed all the way to the bottom. Alright. Right there. I think we might have just got it. Alright, first and foremost, let's put in our block. Okay, we don't see any part of the back. So the backing is gone, that's good. Get it till just both of those pieces go in. Then not all this hand thing goes through. That is awesome. Looks so creepy. Okay. Yeah, but we're not done yet. We need one of you. Thank you, sir. Welcome in a few people. Alright, so now let's put in our mannequin. Oh, oh, oh. oh this is back just a little. There it is, got it. this. No. Okay, what did I just do? I still have all my stuff on? Okay. Alright. So now we have our crucified dude in this space. That looks pretty good. Man, I hate when it does that. Alright, I'll have to put that back somewhere. So this guy, the warden dude's gotta have his own space, so it's gonna be kinda like a maybe this. We're gonna put in some kind of like wall locker type job over here. Then we need to figure out some of these things. I think that, if I'm going to do it, it's going to be right here. Let's move that. These are the tools of his trade. Yeah, 
he's got to be a proper... I didn't come close enough. He's got to be a proper... Uh, the other way. Oh, no. It's... Well, it looks like both ways. Uh, uh, what are they? Interrogator? Is that the right term for it? Now, so if we do this here, I'm guessing... that. Okay, so we're going to go in until... That, maybe? Just a hint of the the bowl sticking through, but that looks impressively good. Oh, just a little hint up there, too. Ah, that can be my guide. That's what I'll do. That little top portion can be the guide as to how far in I am. Alright. The camera will let me see it. Go till it just up, up, up. there. There we go. Genius! It looks so good. Like like we he's out here turning this thing, and I mean, I don't know how it'd be on this, but he's stretching him, and because we can't really lay people flat, so that doesn't work. This is the one, once we finish whatever we're doing this, we're going to close the gate entirely. We're just going to make it a closed gate. So, let's see. I think we should also... Oh, I got it on. We should also have a lever. It's so difficult to do it on this type of wall. guessing, and hopefully I guessed right. I could stand to go in a little bit more, but I don't hate it. Kind of seems like it should be closer to this, though. Alright, let's uh, bring it a little closer. So that was where I did it, so we'll go to that. And we'll push it over just a hair. This way. Do that. Now nah, that's even worse. I'll fix that later. I like the combo. It looks good. It looks like some kind of dastardly machine. Or or this is the crank for the doors. This is the lock unlock mechanism, and that's the crank for the doors even. That's a reasonable thought. So, we'll probably have a stool in here. We need to get some prison beds. Just have it so I can have it placed there. There. All right, that looks nice. Um, let's let's use this. Hmm, where else could I use that? I don't know. We'll think about that. For right now, let's just stick it over here until we decide we want to use it. So we have it available for us. 
We need some beds. I need to check this to make sure I don't have any here, because I might. Man, if we could lay out, like, hammers and stuff like that, we could put a table and have <laughs> the implements of torture laid out across it. Probably want a bucket down there. Salt lights, pretty much. To be fair, we need a light down there. Uh, I, I, I'll do that. I'll do that. All right. So we also can use kind of like the idea of the primitive shelving because it. I mean, it is more of a jail area, and it's not like they're going to have be lots of riches or anything like that. Maybe he's got a book sitting on there that he wants to read. Probably a plate and dinner out there as well. Put those in there so I can use them. That's an idea for some portion of the Hollow Hall, let's have some kind of a crypt. And there we go. There's your beds. Okay. All right. Splat. I really like that. That worked out well. All right. So if we had a bed in here, probably like this. Maybe this one, because we don't have anybody in here yet. You jerk. I know what I can do to fix that. And it even makes perfect sense. We'll have one there. One there. Move this. And he'll have one by his desk. Yeah, let's get this out of here so we can see now what we need where. So we took that. So yeah, it'd probably be. Yeah the height. Yep. So we're here about like that. I think I'm going to change that to this side. There we go. Uh, let's do some toilettes. Very, very basic. Just a pooper. They don't even get a back on it. For that guy. Maybe this guy gets a little bit of privacy. When when there is one there. Alright, so we'll give him a book that he's reading, but we're also probably gonna put one of like a ledger on his desk. So he would be, you know, the who's who of the place. All right, so what do we got here? We got about right here, about right there. <laughs> yeah, the guard's definitely gonna be like, "Man, I hate this job." <laughs> All right. Well, I have a bucket. 
fuck it going on for when messes have to be dealt with. We'll have a cabinet over here. Probably I'll get another one of these, I think. And we'll have kind of like... I don't know, like, like this would be the possessions of the people that are sitting there in the jail cell and, you know, they're, they're there for whatever reason they're there. This guy's had certainly a bad day. I kind of think... kind of think... I wish I could put the spikes down. That just bugs me. Like, I almost, like, need some light up there or something. But this is fine, because it's not like it's going to be... What? You know, all bright in your face in a jail cell prison area. Okay, what else? This seems awful barren, but at the same time... Here, I want to move this. Okay. All right, so we got this one. Just get my corner going. All right. Same here. This one I can use this block. Alright, so we got our corners, and then we can do some embellishment, and we still need to do our... Let's see, for this one, we could have... Okay, so we got that beam there, and we could have a beam that runs, kind of splitting the center, comes down here, and that's part of how we change the space. Another thing I could do is I could bring this this outer section, the reception, I don't know what you want to call it. I could bring this down one block and then back up to the jail cells just to give a, a, a sense of three dimensions. I mean, obviously we are in three dimensions, but just to give it a little bit more than just, oh, hey, look, it's a bunch of flat floors and it's just two different block types and yeah, see, this was all brighter the other day. What the... You know what it was? It was all the green coming through that probably wasn't supposed to be coming through. And now today it's not coming through and it's like, something's weird. Oh yeah, did I get the... I didn't get the thing yet. I gotta put the... The fireplace in there. Then I gotta put all the beams in this place. I gotta find out which... Ceiling is... Which uh, t roof tile is gonna have a nice smooth inside. I do like how the bathroom came out. I don't know if you saw the bathroom uh, jump bar yesterday. It turned out real nice. You got a uh, little crappers. You know, you got got a fireplace in here and place for you like your linens and your. And then you got these wall lockers that are kind of cool. Little uh, prep room, and then you got your your showers. Pretty pretty cool place. This side is gonna be like your. I hear you bees. I hear you up there. Uh, this side's more like your, um, re just your your standard residence, your military or whatever. Uh, so up here is your training room. Then down here is where the normal folk eat, because the banquet hall is only gonna be for high value targets. And the king queen. And so they're going to have, like, some kind of a bar, small kitchen thing, probably have a little backroom storage, and then a bunch of just real cheap tables and chairs kind of around. i got to figure out if I can find some materials that I can, not materials, equipment, that I can, like, sink into this wall, for example. Something that maybe looks like darts or other entertainment that we can figure out. And then, of course, then you're going to have the barracks here. You got the, almost like a his and a her squad leaders or something over here. And then all those guys. And of course the prison. And it all connects. I was able to get it all connected yesterday. It ended up being perfect. Still got to figure out 
what we're doing in there though. But yeah, I couldn't believe it. When I was coming down, working around, and this floor ended up being exactly at that height that I came through, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about it. Yeah, and you know what? Coming down will... Yep, yep, that's what we're going to do. We're going to come down. Unfortunately, i got to do it... i got to do it this way. Come on. Let's get all this furniture out of the way. Oh, it means I need to reset all that, probably. I got plenty. I mean, to be fair, if we think about it, back in any time that they would have something like this, I imagine the guards are having to smell some pretty funky stuff on a regular basis. Come on. That's VR level? Okay. looks better. By sinking it down, it, it gives it a more prominence. That didn't go far enough in. And that, see, so now the the door actually actually looks like a door instead of just fencing that I placed on the ground, which, I mean, obviously that's what I did, but... Hmm, I need to come on forward, don't I? Oh, I know what I can do. Rim that with the black to give it a separation. That's weird that one one piece ended up not having the same. All right, so let's get back to furniture.
like that. The waiting space that you don't want to be called to. I should have done it from my right. And just almost. All right. I think that's still all right. It's a touch high now, but I think it's still all right. So we got a crank to close the doors. Well, if we're, if we're going to do it that way, then this one almost has to be open the same amount. Because I would I would unless this changes, we, we figure that this is what changes which door opens. We could do that. Uh, a pneumatic switch. Pop it one way, one door's locked. Pop it the other way, the other door's locked. Or I, sh I should say unlocked. Uh, let's see. So then it's going to be more something like this. And just in case we got a shorty, got a little, little stool for him. Tools of the trade. Alright, that's most of that. I'll return that back. Alright, so we've got crappers, we got a chair, we got beds in both, we got the dude hanging up, this one's gonna stay empty. Then hmm. I still kinda wanna have this one closed. That's going to be interesting. Okay, I'm going to do it like this. Oh, is it going to let me do it because with the door there? It's wanting to pick up just the door. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. What the hell did it pick up? Oh, are you kidding me? And I can't do it from outside. Great. Which means... Oh, great. That sucks. Okay, that's fun. It's not going to let me put the door in the way. I guess I'm going to have to reset the door after it, huh? That's a, that's a real pain. Should work now if I do it. Not with those in the way it doesn't. But I can always put those back. All right, the pains of trying to do things that uh, bad collision doesn't allow us to do. That should allow us to do, but it doesn't. All right, we get this guy set there. I'm gonna put our box back down. Ah, before I do any of this, I gotta put this back up. Because I won't be able to get in here. Is that correct? That's not how I did it over there. Did it like that. Okay. Right 
there. Looks correct. What's that? And now this. Right about. There. Alright, there we go. So he's all locked up in there, crucified to the wall, desiccated, because he did. And we just left him locked in there. Maybe we, maybe we lost the key, and oh, I'm sorry, we couldn't feed you. Not like we couldn't drop slop down in through the top. And then this is the one waiting for the next guy that tries to put the moves on the on the king's wife. The queen. Alright, so we got that. We had a little bit displayed out here. We will get to the finer details later. What do I want to do with this? I know I want to do it so that this conveyor belt looking thing sticking out the pulleys. Or, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I have any of them I can use it for. Because uh, one of the things I did with a bathroom at one point is... If you take this, set it in to where just that handle is sticking out, it kind of looks either like a flusher or it looks like a um, toilet paper holder. Problem is, I mean, I could do it. That'd be a pain in the butt to have several of these sitting through the wall. I could try. Let's see what we can fit. So I don't want to try that. And that. And then so getting this in there, and I can't see because of the way this material is. To me, it looks like that's sticking out. All right, let's put. A floor, if you will, to lead off of. Okay, so. Wanted to make sure none of that is sticking out. Try that. Too much. Not quite centered over it, but it does kind of look like it would be one of the pull chain flushers, kind of. It's not too bad. But I think I could use make use of that elsewhere. Maybe even something to do with this? Possibly. They can't do it into this wall. This is only a double thick and then it's the literal end of the world, so to speak. I have to merge them to get the wrong way. I have to merge them together or put them on this side. I think it'd be smarter to have it this way. Let's uh let's let's give it a shot just to just as a mock up and see what we think. I just have to remember to go much further back than it looks. It's not going to let me because of the, uh... Yep. Okay. Can't do it here. Alright. So let's... Here. Let's try a proof of concept here. that is much easier to deal with. Alright. So there's the wall that's easier to deal with. Now we go...
So that would have to be first. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so this would be like that. I'm just going to stick it there for now. So that I can figure out where this is going. Come on. Get back there. Boy, it's really stubborn. Fine. Take that. Pick this up. Take this. Now, we put this in here. So that just that sticks through. He's something like that, maybe. I'm not that upset that it's only just the handle instead of the parts that stick on it, too. So if we did just like we did before with the other one, let's do it with this one. took that out and then we had this so we had ourselves kind of like a kind of like that of course that it needs to go over further you can't turn that all the way if it's right there Okay, so we did that. Okay. I mean, it looks like something. It's... Uh, I, I don't know what we're going to call this. I mean, if it's the keg and this handle turns it and it spins and uh, I don't know comes out from this thing right here so we get it up higher and then it and, in, and it comes out through this and we just put a cup underneath it we we'll have a cup let's go grab a cup who wants to give up your cup Whose cup can I even grab? Yeah, that's that's not gonna happen. Okay, let's go up and grab a cup because there I don't see any way in hell I'm gonna be able to grab one off those tables. Without grabbing a million other things. Alright. Uh, uh they definitely wouldn't have fancy stuff in there. No crystal for those guys. Copper. Maybe some bronze. Let's put a bronze one under there. Just we're we're just doing a proof of concept here. Yeah, just doing proof of concept here. Whoa, what about whole ass mugs? Like pitchers. We could also do that instead of just a cup. Let's see how hard this goes. So now keep in mind this would be higher off the ground. Because that's just not high enough. So like maybe that's the poor spout. We're, we're making that up. This is the poor spout. And uh... That's kind of the poor spout maybe. Yeah. So if it was up a little higher and we'd have that like that. Man, oh man this kinda looks dumb. Yeah, good luck getting that thing.
it just doesn't let me. <laughs> well, we get some idea. So definitely a cup underneath and have a couple cups like lined up. And so this thing would be... Okay, so this would be the end of the bar. Okay, so you think of it, the bar is like this. And then it goes this way a little bit more. So if you can imagine this is the bar top. Obviously at a normal bar height. So then they could come in and well yeah, but then if they're pouring there, how are they turning this? Uh, it's hurting my brain. I gotta figure this out. I had a good idea until I realized that. Um, put the lever on this side instead or something yeah I gotta figure that out Okay, so let's drop this back out. There we go. So, kind of, sort of worked, not ish, not all the way we wanted it to. I'm sure I can figure something out. I kind of like the idea of this being a back room. How are we gonna do the? I do like the idea of this as a keg. And I do like the idea of this part right here being this this pour, pour spout, the tap. And so I guess we could just place this, you know, on this side. Pick it up. Thank you. You know, kind of does that thing, and we put our cup on the countertop just underneath it, and it does, that's not underneath very well, but you get the idea. So then I gotta wrap my head around. Okay. Yeah, so that's how it has to be. So the counter comes out this way and runs this way, and, and the bartender's in here, and this is the edge of it. And so they serve us that way. So, if we're doing it that way, either it has to be just like where it was, with the bar running this way, and then a back room here, or we have it this way, because it doesn't make sense to have a back room slash kitchen off. Well, I mean, suppose it could come out from this wall. No, but that doesn't make sense, because you would have a serving counter at the edge. Okay, let's think about this. So we did... And I can't put things in this wall over here. I'm not... You know what? Screw it. Let's just make this wall triple thick. That way I can put... I can embed things in the walls. And let's do it with the red so that this gives us an easier way to see what the hell we're doing with that one. Plus it'll be a feature wall with all the rest of it. Yeah, being the opposite of that one, that makes that, that makes perfect sense. Be a feature wall opposite the, uh, the other end.
thinking too in this space it could work really well to have a bunch of trophies up you know if this is like there where they the pub this is the pub basically and and th this is where they would go to you know let off steam and I, I think that makes perfect sense that they would have a um, a lot of trophies in here there'd be it'd be where they'd you know tell their tall tales of oh man I saw I saw this giant one time and it had 17 fingers and four hands and I barely got out with my life you know the tall tales that uh, hunters tell when they're a little inebriated with the ale okay so then I gotta work my brain around this I guess we don't have to have necessarily a quote back room and this could come out a little deeper and have kitchen appliances embedded into this wall as well but then have some space over here and we have maybe some more cozy seating over here like um, not that we really have couches or anything but that kind of concept I still need to figure out if I can fit that grill inside the space somehow okay is this three or four it's four it's too big okay I have to do it by hand. Or do this. There. Because of how tall we are, I guess that's going to have to be where the where it is. And I want to go three. Oh, definitely deeper than that. So then we can do some detailing work. Alright, you guys are just all in my way. Can, can I pick you up? Bags full? No. Thank you. Okay, so then we need. Front counter could be narrower. I'm not against that. And then you have your space here. Yeah, I know what we can do with that. We can put a table across there. We get just the right width. So it looks like that, that, uh, God, I can't think of the name of it. The bar top that flips down, they flip it up, walk past, and flip it back down when they need to get by. Once they've gotten by, I mean. Now we also, we need to figure out some way to make bar stools. I don't know exactly how we're going to make barstools. we got to figure something out. Okay. Just really seems like it should be higher, but as short as we are, that's about right. So then, if we're putting this jobby in... So it's got to go up one. Wow, it needs to be four watts? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I already figured that part out. Okay, yeah. Did I not have it? Oh, I guess I had that out. Oh, I know what it was, because I bought this back until it hid that. Just like that. 
Nice. That looks. That looks good. That tracks. So we're gonna do this. There. And then there. I'm even okay with that. And that gives us a nice, decent amount of space where we can do our, quote, pour. Okay. So then, if we want our... How high is that? It's right at the top. So I'm thinking one up. Okay. Just like that. Now, let's put this in. We're going to go pretty close to that edge. Let's try that. Yeah. I like it. And then, oh, uh, where's those stools? Let's get a stool. One, two, three. Where's the extra one? Did I put it? Put it in here. Thought I brought four. Alright, I'm gonna steal your stool. I'll bring it back. Oh, maybe I'm gonna steal your stool. Alright. So then what we can do, we can kind of put this in here like this. And then we would have cups, we would have sitting under there ready to, uh, ready to get their pour. Not quite right, but it kind of works. And then we have some cups lined up up here to, uh, oh, I didn't, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there to do, fix that. There's not a shot in hell I'm going to be able to get in there and fix that. Dang it. Oh, well. Yeah, I think that works. Put a couple cups up here, lined up, ready to pour a frosty one. This is the handle that turns that spindle, and it dispenses here. I like it. So now we got a keg for our pub. We'll put some more, like, a little more fancy seating over here. We still need to do this number. Should have done it while I was up there. All right, get to rest of that later. So, now, let's see if we can figure this thing out. Will this go... So, first and foremost, I'd have to have this thing come back again, unless I put it in this side. Which I could. Put it right there, right against this edge. Like that. And I'm going to have to put it with, um, I don't think I can. Because any higher I go and that anvil is going to show. That's too bad. That'd be really look cool as a grill. The only real way to do it is to hide the left chunk where the anvil is completely into a wall. So... Like this. And then this whole left part with the blower, the bellows, uh, hide that entirely. 
even if you didn't go like that far just kind of like enough to get that in there right there I think that would be fine okay so if I did that where could I do that you could have some mixture over here kind of makes sense to have the fire right there all right so what do we did kind of like this question is is that going to be in the wall I guess we're going four deep <laughs> I just keep adding thickness to this wall uh, it's funny could work and then that either either we hide the bellows in a wall or we hide the bellows under a table like a prep table you get you got your chicken and stuff laid out and you're prepping it getting it ready uh, it's like, oh, let me shit it works how high do I have to go I mean shit that works and then, let's see. Do I have a table? I don't have a table on me. Okay, so let's, for just for the beginning, let's do it this way. Ah, it's off. Damn. Because if I did it where it sits, it would do that. And then I'd have to come one more. Like that. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Oh, I just, I wish, I wish we had that separate. So the fireplace, instead of have you know, just, just exactly like you see here, forget this is a forge. Is that what this is? Forge. Take the hammer and stuff off, and we just had it as a grill. Because it's a perfect concept for a grill. Let's change the material and see what I think then. I may just screw this. Let's go get a damn table. Let's put a table on it. Uh, it's, yeah, that is the table I want. Let's go get one. I don't think I have any... The stone table might... Yeah, but you wouldn't... You definitely wouldn't be prepping food on something that is fabric. Then there is this. Uh, wrong one. There is this that we use ubiquitously for everything. Let's check that too. And we'll check that too. Polished. Because this is the obvious go-to, but I don't know that that really fits with the Definitely not palm wood. I'm sure palm wood. I'm gonna take this just to check it. Put this pitcher back and let's grab some mugs. Let's just do a mixture of bronze and copper for now. This is our favorite that we use all over the place doing all kinds of things. 
And that's not a shot in hell that's going to work. Okay. So that is a no. Probably means these are a no also. It does. I doubt even this would work. Unless I can get it from just the right angle. Oh boy. It almost almost looks like there's a knife in the table there. Just can't go far enough. Does an okay job at hiding it. And I could hide that little piece sticking up uh, from the bellows with silverware and, or not silverware, sorry, like uh, cups and all that stuff. It's okay. That's that's all right. I'm not I'm not hating it. But let's take a look at this because it's wider. that or would I want to push it back and yeah sure there's stuff underneath but I can like push a couple things up under there too and it'll look fine same thing I can easily hide that it does do a decent job as like a prep table right before the quote unquote grill so it's not bad it's not bad I don't love it but it isn't bad this thing needs good. And since this is two, should, I think we shouldn't go all the way through. Okay, so... Let's bring the table back a little further. So that it's closer to flush with that there. almost kind of looks like those blocks almost kind of looks like it's firewood down there a little bit all right so that I'm not too upset with that and then we'll put something here to kind of run this across we'll figure something out there all right so we got a keg looking thing we got a grill um, we definitely want uh, a pot of something cooking and we also need an oven. We'll put the oven on that side. We'll put the pot here. Uh, we also need a thing for... Let's see. Hang on a second. And that's actually a great idea. So to frame this oven in... Yeah. So should I go all the way in like that then? And then we can do a hood... Oh, but see, then it would be this way. Then that makes more sense to have it over here. Oh. Because then you would have a hood over this whole thing. I suppose we do it hoodless. So will we go back all... Okay, let's take a look again. Because no matter what I do, that's sticking out pretty much that far. I think that's okay. And then we can do shelving for some dishes behind with these guys. And I can even place them inside of a one depth like that. But over here, do it too high. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we're going to do this too. We're going to find a spot over here where we're going to have this mirror it. Okay, let's see if this is going to work here. Alright, 
Let's see if this works there. Then there'll be another block there. Hang on, this might not be enough. So we'll do two or three high there. I think we're going to have to move it over one block. So I think this could be too tight. However, having that come out of there, I'm okay with that. I'm not upset about that at all. Does that leave enough room for this to actually look right? If I go one in, it does. Okay. So we need to go in one block. fire underneath there. I think we're going to do this hood less because I think it'll look better. Maybe we'll do um, some of the big boy heads over this area. But this now, this looks appropriate. So, you know, you get your bartender back here. They can strip kegs. They've got your pottage right here oven's cooking something it's right by that you can put your hot bread out on the this black tile which is maybe the the, the hot plate or something like that and actually in reality these devices here would be heating this stone so that actually would work as a hot plate then you have a prep table put some stuff on it and maybe some stuff underneath it to kind of hide all that stuff so that looks appropriate we got our keg pour there, and this that would be enough room to be able to swing this. Yep, so that's good. We get probably two more of those. We'll frame it. We'll do some other stuff up there, make it look nice. I might even change this material here to be this. Maybe. Might be too fat. Ooh, that's really fat. Nope, that's not going to work. Well, we tried. So we got one there, and we got one there. I think that puts our top there. leave that like that. So we need two of those. That works there, but I need to put a fire underneath this, so let's grab this. Come forward more. I don't have to be all the way back there. There we go. Now we got some light from it. We got some what looks like heat. We still access this. It's close to in line. Yep, that looks good. All right. So now we got some. Now it's working. It's working. It's coming. And then we have to have some uh, some mugs. I can do it from down here. Huh. Now let's just do that far. Swap them.
Alright, that's good enough for now. Looks good. Alright, so I like that. This is going to be for dishes here. About that. We'll be serving here. Now, we got to figure out something. Something we can use. For. In Valheim, we have... It's like a stool or something. You just put it in the ground. And because of its height, it makes it look like a bar stool. I just can't think of... We need to go up and see... What kind of props we have that we might be able to use... Other than just using chairs, because that's the easy way to do it. Alright, where the hell are the bees? I can hear them. Uh, da, da, da. This one? Nope. Well, sort of. I didn't grab one of those, though. Alright, so we need two of these. That can go back. This can go back. Uh, let's see now. Well, there you go. That could work as uh, bar stools. Turn them around sideways. Okay, or uh, backwards. Maybe. Might. These could be our couches, if you will, for the the area over there. And we, we sink down a table to look like a coffee table. It's a little fancy, I think, for our guys in there, though. Let's take a look. And then we need to find something we can... I'm thinking... Stone bench, stone table, or two side table, two of them, or this. Hmm. Questions, questions. Try one of each. Uh. Do we need something else up here? We need to put those dang boots back. Where did it come from? This? Uh, appears to be. There you go, sir. if any of this will work. Do what we want from it. This is already looking really nice. I'm so glad that Ketmol f uh, figured this out because it really, really looks good. do that from here, but we'll try. It's long in the mouse. No, looks alright. Alright, I think I like that. And I think maybe we'll have it without a top. So this will be our plates and bowls. Got those. Now, the idea behind this here. So as it sits, literally, it's too tall. But, what if we put it down a block? Let's see, it'd be about... That would be about the line. So if we did... That. And it's rock, so we might have to actually put another floor in the below it. We'll see. I 
don't dislike that at all. I think I can dig that. So let's go there. Skip one. There. Skip one. There. Uh, I mean that. Oh, that's the wrong type. Oh, you know what? I can't go that far. Because I can't erase that many times. There's going to be no way to get that back without erasing. Okay. And grab this. This, this, this looks good. And then one and a two. Yep, I can dig that. That works very well. Of course, you can't actually sit on them, but imagine, <laughs> kind of, kind of imagine. Yep, I like that a lot. I need to get probably two more and put them right here. I've got one on me, but let's see. We well, first off, let's let's do this part real quick, and we're gonna see what space we're gonna actually have left. I'm thinking these guys would be kind of like this. Uh, okay, so size-wise, I think that actually works very well. So they move that out of the way. Uh, that's not going to work. It's going to have to be individuals. I'm only going down one block. Two is way too deep for this project. Back. Now. Uh, that's too... Okay. Uh, apparently I'm going to go get... Uh, and I need more light over here while I'm doing this. Yeah, it's good enough. Go plenty of light there. Put another one there. There you go. Um, I need to go get a shelf to get that up higher because then now it's way too low. I thought I had a shelf. Did I put one up in here? Also, side note, uh, for those of you that play this, I don't know if you would play it also, Sunken Land just came out with a massive update. It has, co I mean, it's, it's a base builder, and it has some elements that, that share with Entrouded. And a buddy of mine were playing it today, and man, it's they did a great job. They're, they're really on that game, and I, I appreciate them for it. I, I may end up streaming a little bit of that in the coming time frame, time period. I don't know when, but it might be different times than this, since I've been streaming Shrouded at this time, but we'll see. It's a really enjoyable game. Alright. Am I going to have to do this on both sides? Damn it, I think I'm going to have to, but we'll see. If I do it like that... Not get that right. Well, I didn't get that right either. And it seems just a touch too high. 
Alright, which is a little bit too high. Let's see where we're at there. Okay. That was about that, so let's go down about that. But yeah, if you do own the game, Sunken Land, it is well worth your time to get back into it. More? Needs to go down more. bottom, I guess. All the way as low as it'll go. Seems to be just about the same as it was. I may have to add another level. Yeah, it's still too tall. I mean, it's not terrible. I could just leave it. Screw it. Let's just leave it. We have it pretty good on here. Yes, we do. <laughs> the tiniest feet ever. A <laughs> big old stone table with little bitty feet. <laughs> Tommy boy. A fat table with little feet. <laughs> Alright, so this definitely can now. Where did I put them? There, there. Technically I went three back. Like that. And maybe we'll just put one here, not put another. Just kind of knob like that. Make sure people can get around. There we go. This is looking good. This looks, looks really good. Kind of, kind of Star Wars Cantina going on over here a little bit. Uh, Mos Eisley's Cantina. Yeah. I like it so far. Okay. So we got some place for dishes. We got stuff over here. We got to put stuff over there. Probably after I did this, I think on top of the stool, I want to have a plate and then have the cup on the plate. I know it's a silly little thing, but I think I want to do that. Another thing we need to work on up here is these whatever huge beams we're going to be doing. I don't know exactly how we will do them, but we'll need to do something. Alright. Now the question is tables in here. The stone seems a little little fancy but I think almost anything we put in here is going to be fancy or appear fancy uh, let's put bookcases right there put this here we'll put a little bit of storage stuff under there Put a pair of bookcases here, or one big one, or something like that, just to give it some flavor. It always seems to be the hard part. You know, the large scope of it really isn't that bad. I mean, once you get some kind of an idea, but once you get to those teeny tiny finer details, like all this little stuff in here, all the little nook knacks, <laughs> nook knacks, excuse me, knick knacks. Starts to get a little muddy in your head a little bit. And you're like, oh god, what am I going to do? I still haven't finished this little foyer here. Alright, mister, what you got? Alright, you can always use a bucket. We could have a kettle sitting on one of the counter, or that table. The ta ah, there you go. That's where we're going to hide the 
that the little uh, bellows handle with. We'll hide it under the kettle. There might be some candles in that room, for sure. I'm sure they're going to have some some jugs to pour things. Uh, they're definitely not getting crystal in there. Um, I don't really want to use the really high high value ones. I think they would have the lower value. Just seems to me that they would have the lower value. I'm going to put one of those halfway into the wall just to give it a little bit of... I, I've got a spot I can stick that. Make it a little more interesting. We'll do this with the chairs in a couple spots. I like doing that. Well, thank you for the sub, VP Gaming. Uh, now, just to be fair, so that we know, I'm only the current caretaker of the resource world. I did not create it. That was Crazy Loon. I just want to make sure I don't take credit for somebody else. I have done a lot of work on it, but it's, it's, yeah. And, I mean, obviously, that's what I'm doing right now is working on it. But I, it, a lot of it comes from my excitement. I don't know about any of you guys. My, man, I am excited for Update 4. It's, uh... I don't know exactly what's all going to be in it, but I, I I have a feeling it's going to be pretty awesome, and so I'm I'm hyped. Let's see. Maybe that or those. We'll we'll take it with us. See what we can do with that. Um, I don't need this in right now. Put that there. And we can pick that back. Yes, very nice. Might have a couple of those in that room. Uh, what do we come out for specifically? Some tables. We need to look and see what kind of tables we would put in the... I guess we'll call this one the mess hall. So not the banquet room, but the mess hall. That kind of makes sense. Alright, so... I'm kind of thinking it would be some mixture of, like, crude tables and wooden tables... Because it's not like the king and queen are going to be spending a ton of money to outfit the mess hall for just the working class and all that stuff. I can't, I can't think. I can think that's no, no, no. Yeah, I can't think. We'll we'll do some mixture thereof of kind of lower end tables. I don't know how. How much have you seen of what I've uh, renovated recently, VP Gaming? Or have you been following what I've been doing? All the stuff on my YouTube is a week behind, the, but the VODs on um, Twitch are up to date. Except they only stay up for a week. But that's, that's where it pairs up. It's about a week behind. But I went this way and I put in a banquet hall, which is not complete yet, but it's getting there. I love this kitchen. But all kinds of really cool stuff. I love the range hood up there. It's fantastic. Then our little uh, well area, underground well. We got a, a space for all the spirits and the meads and everything so the king can lock it up and keep it out of uh, uh, sippity sippity hands. Got a waiting room to see the king. Then they have a balcony over here. And then we've got the king's chambers. Ah, damn it. There it is. We're going to have to fix the trees. Damn it. I was, I was afraid of that. <laughs> well, this isn't supposed to look like this. <laughs> Oops. Uh, th this is the king and queen's chambers, and um, it's not supposed to have trees growing up in it, so uh, we got to fix that. This is their bed, 
bathroom, which is awesome with double double showers, floor drain, double sinks, all real nice. Uh, secret door to go to the inner chamber, which has the king queen's uh, dress armor, their regular noble stuff, and trees that I have to unfortunately cut down. This is supposed to be the queen's like uh, little glade. And unfortunately, the trees got too damn big. Oh, that sucks so bad, because uh, I really liked them. But now I've got to cut all of them down. Uh, I'll do that later, because, man, that sucks. <laughs> I should have figured that was going to happen. And then this side is what we've been working on recently. I've got a... A bathroom for the working class. They got their own toilet stalls. Three of them. Got a communal shower over here. Wall lockers, if you will. Uh, completely unfinished range. I just f just blocked it out just to see what I could do. This is going to be their firing range and kind of like... We're going to try to figure out how to make some like target dummies and stuff like that. This is the uh, mess hall... And then we come down into the barracks and the jail. And then it just keeps going and going and going. It's all connected underground now. So it's, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, that was going to be down here. Maybe I might do the wooden shells. We'll see. Uh, okay, yeah, the Athenor I think I want to stick in the wall over here. Just for an extra piece of je ne sais quoi. Kind of want to do... Oh, that's not going to work like that. I don't like it. Ooh, ooh. Let's give me something to put here. Yeah, but if I do that, it's going to be bad collision. Here. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Alright, so we were going to hide the handle of that jobby. I think. With the kettle. I can get it to sit just right. <laughs> I, I mean, it works. It does do the job. Yeah, let's do it like this. Now, this bucket, again, to kind of help hide some stuff there. Seems like it'd be right in the way, though. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't really like that. It's kind of in the way. Makes more sense to be something like that anyway. like you would have a little candlelit dinner. Have some tea lights. We'll have to make believe that they're tea lights. Tea, ca tea candles or whatever they're called. Alright, so if we put these in here, I think I want to do something different than your standard uh, let's put them all in rows and have them exactly the same. So I think it makes sense to do a big blocky one over here. Uh, da -da -da. 
let's see. Just come down the stairs, and then you got a big blocky one there. Maybe have some space. Oh, you know what I can do? That's what I'll do. Yeah, about right here. Do I have any chairs on me? I don't. I gotta go get chairs. Uh, eh, I'll leave those chairs down there for now. Okay, so then, uh, do, 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 do this chair, table. Okay, hang on a second. Center myself on this thing. Yeah, I can see that. So you could have this and people around that. Then you have another table. And then over here, maybe we do something else again. Unless we can figure out some way to hide some shit in the wall there to make it look like a dartboard or... I don't know. Something we could do that would be just fun and interesting. Something that looks like some portion of a uh, entertainment. S something that's entertainment. So, I have another one of these, maybe over here. Oh. Right now, we'll do it here. Let's go get some. Okay. So we got that table, we got that. Get another, maybe one or two of those, maybe one or two of those. And we need chairs and benches, of course. So first, we need this for the my little design. Um, stone table can go back here. Yeah. It's all too fancy. At least another one of those. Maybe two of those. So, okay, so we need we got one, we need one more, and then, then maybe two over there, so three total. That'd probably work fine. I need another thing of stools. Probably a decent mix of chairs. And then... Definitely some benches. And maybe even the crew bench, too. So let's put in another one of these. Maybe maybe like that. Then would you stop doing that? There we go. Alright, let's get these up set up. Get there. Okay. Right there. And right there. Alright, so we got my little design that I came up with for the... I know it's not really a bench, but it looks good that way. I like it. So... Let's get I always feel weird skewing the the benches off, you know? It just seems odd to do it that way. Versus like chairs, it makes more sense to have them skewed. Uh 
let's do you know to give that quote unquote lived in look so maybe another bench and let's swap back to this just really kind of mix it up well I think we'll just go ahead and do that like that now let's put so how do we want to do these over here I still want to see if I can figure something out there let's do kind of a okay since that would be that and then some chairs and then maybe this one has a stool there maybe this one has a chair there stool on this side I will put a chair here all right I think the middle ones the whole thing's gonna have to move over to our left but we'll figure that out as we go Okay. We're going to have to put quite a bit of the ceiling lights too because we're going to need quite a bit more. Right, the candles. So, I figure these guys will probably have some candlelight for them. These guys are lucky and they get two. There we go. Stick an extra stool back here just in case it's needed. Like for, oh yeah, there you go. Stool there to get to the upper shells. I'm sure we could use this. Oh, I stole a stool from somebody, didn't I? I did. storage right here so let's do a little bit of and I think 
think maybe we'll put a potted plant in between them to make them look nice. Just because it's a, a jail over here doesn't mean it has to be all dingy. You know, except for the dead guy on the wall. Don't worry about him. He'll be fine. It's just a scratch. I fit one of these up here. Not really. But you could have one. Stick one here just for now, just so I have it sitting around, awaiting in case I do something with it. All right, I still got to do this balcony to look like that balcony, which I love. I love the way that that uh, pillar and balcony combo came out. It just looks great. So do that. I'm gonna put some kind of railing here. I got to figure out what I want to do there. This is looking very, very nice indeed. It's a little too much on the wood. I might change over one or two of the tables because it's a little bit too woody for my taste. I like it, but it's it's just it's just it's a little much. All right, so. Oh, you know what I need to do? Do I have it in my bag? No, but I think I have some up here, though. I believe I have them in this. Okay, this is going to solve all the light problem we have in there. And then some. Okay, what else do we we need it. So what I think we're going to end up doing is the same thing we did with those. So up high on the beam where it looks like the metal is being attached at the ceiling but also at the wall. And I think we're going to not in this space, maybe, but definitely in that space um, so I'm thinking we need a portion of a column coming out from that, then a big fat column, and beam, excuse me, here, and that can have the two lights. So one on either side of that, then we'll have probably a beam here, and maybe a third one here. Let's see what we can do. First and foremost, get to this. Man, even that high up and I'm having problems with the shroud? You suck. a damn thing. There we go. Well, let me do it this way. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Why are you going to let me do it that way, but you won't let me do it by hand? Jerk. Jerk face. And this, I don't think I can get tall enough. I did, I don't believe it. Okay. 
So we'll start with that. We're going to do a pattern on that, just like we did in the other room. So, do I want to split this right in half? I think that's reasonable, but we want Chonky. I want Chonk Chonky. Uh, let's see. Let's go. We want just like that meme. Dang, he thick. The dog. <laughs> it was a chunky lab, man. <laughs> That is the chunkiest Labrador I've ever seen in my life. It is a funny me. Oh, I fell. Or not. Okay. I need to learn how to jump, apparently. See what I'm doing here so I don't shoot this outside. Let's go make sure I didn't just shoot it outside. I did not. Except I'm going to go. I think I'm just going to do two. And of course, we're going to have to move furniture around, I'm sure, once we get this set. That's okay. I don't mind that. It's one of those things. Okay, so now let's get our detail in. One, two, three. Start there. I'm good, thanks. I don't need any cheap viewers. I have good viewers, and I didn't pay for them, and they're nice people, because they hang out, and we have fun. So, thanks. But no thanks. Oops, we're on one button. Well, I guess I'm moving that whole thing. What is going on? There we go. Can I pick you up? Hello? Thank you. Alright, so now we have our big boy column that, uh, after doing that, I'm definitely going to bring it up a little bit. It's a little too thick. Just a, it's just a little much. Haha. <laughs> 
<laughs> I did. I figured somebody was gonna say it. It's good though. Okay, so we're doing that. We need to bring this up. So one, two, three. So we have the same. Okay. And I want to use the column for the light. I'll show you when we get there. Is that two or is that one? It's one. Yeah, so the that's actually in the hollow hall. Oh, how's it already three? Did I mess it up? One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, that detail is in the hollow. In fact, while it's not fully detailed yet, uh, most of what I've done with the Hollow Hall is present in the Hollow Halls in the game. I I took some liberties, of course, just to you know kind of make it my own, if you will. But like for example, the the detail where it's the red on the. Let me see. What Find a good spot. Uh, I missed them. Whoa, 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 whoa. The way all this detailing is, the, how this sets back like that, how those... I don't have anything to point right now, but how these above my head stick down like that, all of that is present. I just haven't gone as overly detailed as the hollow halls are. I probably will at the very end. But I, I've got to get some kind of sense of scope first. Well, first thing I do is I let the I let the space decide kind of how it how it wants to be built. And once I have it, it has kind of helped me figure. Oh, good lord, these things are huge. All right, right till it hits the top, like that. Well, thanks for the sub, and I'm going to try this Einwilds Ari. And I appreciate you watching my stuff on YouTube. Yeah, the, the concept for me on Twitch is I want to have more of um, a Let's Play vibe. And that's really kind of hard to do on YouTube anymore. People just, just don't. They, they just don't care about Let's Plays. They're there on YouTube for yeah. See there, that works. It's it's they're a little big, but I think it's okay, and that's going to be the central light for the whole space in here. I need to flesh out that back wall more, but I like how it the uh, the beam kind of adds to it. But yeah, for for YouTube anymore these days, unless you're like Mr. Beast or something, um, it's really people go to YouTube because they need to fix a problem. How do I how do I fix my, my my pipe is leaking? How do I fix it? Uh, how how do I make the invisible staircase that I put on YouTube yesterday? Uh, whatever. And so that's it's the niche that I kind of uh, Starfield did it when I showed people how, how all the different halves look uh, compared to each other, and it just kind of resonates with people, and I like it. I like doing it. I like doing nerdy shit like that. So it just works, but. With Twitch, I can do more of a interaction, more of a I'm just playing, man. I'm just I'm just having fun playing games, and there just happens to be people that don't hate my voice too much that they want to throw me off a cliff. You know, it's it's cool. But it's fun too when you know people jump in. And they're like, hey, "What if you did this?" I'm like, "I don't know. Let's find out." And then I do that, and it's like that's kind of cool. So there's been several people that have shaped some of the things in here that I've been working on just by, hey, uh, how about this? I'm like, I don't know. Let's try it. The other thing I need to do in here, and oh God, I'm not looking forward to it. I never look forward to it because it sucks. Those. And that is the actual detail of how it looks in the hollow hall. And it's a pain in the ass. And I have to redo that whole thing because it's off by one block to the left and it and my OCD's screaming at me but that is exactly how it looks it's that exact detail 
in, in steps. It's the the light block, then one down, rimming that with the hollow halls block, and then the red marble around that in those thickness types, and then once again down one more with the regular block, hollow block again. That's exactly what the roof structure looks like. And it's a huge pain to do, but when you get it right, like I did in this room, it looks fantastic. So, and I, what I did with that one in the middle, so it, it just looks like, that is the same as these on the side. But I hid it in the little beam running across. So it's, it actually has that, that arm structure there, but it's hidden in the beam. So, it's just little stuff like that, but yeah, it, it looks real good when you get it right. It's just a real pain to do, because it's really tedious. But we'll do something like that in here as well. Uh, this side may have it. Um, this side will have two there, probably. And maybe two there. And maybe over on this side. We'll f maybe we won't have any over here, because we have that. And I also have this boy that I'm going to use a roof to come, if you watch my head, to come down at an angle from there to there. So it's a light well. So, that'll be cool looking. I did. I turned it in. I also uh, streamed it. It took me ten hours. Four different streams. Um, I made a creepy trailer. It's on my YouTube. Nobody's seen it because nobody seemed to care. <laughs> it's fine. I had fun making it. And then I did a walkthrough. Um, it's like a ten minute video that's a walkthrough on it. Uh, the Necromancer is the, is the one that I, what I called it. It's uh, in, well, here. Hopefully, uh, those of you in here don't mind a little detour for a moment. I'll show, show it to you. I'm not going to, like, spend an hour on or anything, but I'll show you for a couple minutes. I used, it's, it's something I do. I mean, I don't know how many of you have seen what my first contrast entry was, the, the Troll Bridge, where I built a whole base inside of Braylon Bridge. Uh, I've done the same thing for the Halloween contest in an existing structure just gutted it all the way to one block from the outside and built a base inside of it. So this is my testing grounds. You made the scene videos knows all about this. And being the starting area, that's your first uh, well. And this little tower here, I don't think really anybody does anything with because there's nothing super special about it. There's one chest in here that's got like a level three item or something. So nobody really cares. All of this is original, except I had to put this on here, because I couldn't fit it inside. And I, you know, I added these lights, but all of this is original. The developers put this in the game, it's always been here. With exception to that light, or uh, sorry, window right there. And then you come down here, I didn't change anything outside, didn't change any of this. Normally, it's just this space right here and that little chest. And that's literally the entirety of the tower. There's nothing else. So I went all the way to the walls and got everything. Built everything inside here. This is where I first figured out how to build that guy. So I put him up in there. I put my decimator in here. I figured out how to put heads in a box. You know, like uh, like at the edge of a guillotine or something. Guillotine, excuse me. Uh, you would have heads, and that's kind of what it is. And you got, like, I don't know, body parts inside of that thing course my my signature with my ankle chains you come in here you got a little little storage it's all in the shroud because the shroud's been like eating the tower up like originally this maybe was a watchtower and then the shroud started coming up and eating everything and I've got a crypt so just built a crypt in here did all my you know hide things in the wall to make it look like like structure and he's got like I don't know he's worshipping something down here. It's got a secret entrance. That, man, if you didn't know it was there, there's no way you would ever find it. And then you go upstairs. And it's, of course, Mr. Uh, Necromancer himself. This is the chest. It still works. I never took anything out of it, so it's still functional. That hole was there, just I didn't change anything. 
e even even a necromancer's got to have a swank bathroom, right? And it's got a secret entrance because I love my secret entrances. So it's it's kind of hard to get out, but all all this stonework was here. I didn't change any of it. I just popped a hole right at this very edge to get in here. And then you go. I made made a pumpkin. It's a shitty pumpkin, but it is a pumpkin, kind of, sort of. Got some flying books. I made a video about that. How to do the flying books and actually like turn them versus just sitting. You know, because you can just put a block in midair and then sit a book on it. Anybody knows how to do that. I did add these holes. Uh, appreciate it on the bathroom. Uh, this one has. Uh, uh, what to describe has um, like rock over it so the front of it, I can't show you on stream but uh, on the video I show a picture of it at nighttime it looks like a tumor over the skull because it looks like a skull from the outside think of, what made me think of it was um, what's the name of the game uh, uh, Goonies so when when they when they pan back from one of the parts when they're down in the caves they're actually in a skull. Uh, I think it's when they're going to the bathroom or something like that. And so that's what made me think of this. And somehow I got this blinking light back here. I don't know how that happened, but it's awesome and I'm glad it came out that way. And of course my signature, my little uh, divider thing. There's a name for these things and I can never remember what it is. And then they... they uh, yeah, oh, it clearly is a bug, but I don't want them to fix it because I love it. It's great for for a Halloween contest build. It's great. The a bomb head looks like it's holding up the chandelier. Didn't do that on purpose. It just hey, I'm gonna put the a bomb head, and I'm like oh, hey. Even the thumb goes around the back of it. It looks like, or one of the fingers does, I should say, because it's all over your base. Well, I mean that's fair. But anyway, yeah. So that's this is the that's the one I put on mine. Oh yeah, cause you bury it down to where just the head, hands are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's smart. Uh. Oh yeah, cause I gotta put these back. But I don't need all these lights now, because I got all I need. The dead are brat. Oh, I took him from downstairs. Whoopsie. Yeah, no worries. I'm always happy to showcase. Besides, it's it's one of those things where... You know, I, t I turned in the entry and all the thing, and it kind of all just fell on deaf ears. It's fine. I What I did in when I was building it, because I figured several other things out, by showing... Sorry, by making it, I was able to create a whole bunch of different videos that showed other people how to do stuff and make things, and, like, the heads in the box. And so other people may end up having their contest... Uh, picked because th you know and some of the things that I should say because of but and some of the things that I they learned from my videos is in there so so it's still a win I, I'm all about co um, no, community not competition I, I don't care it would be cool to have my name on a on a gravestone in the game but I, so what if I don't I don't you know I play the game. I have like almost a hundred videos on Enshrouded on my YouTube, so it's not like I haven't been here, done that. All right, we need to get back to this. So we got this big, big boy there. All right, so if that's there, and we want to make three, I think the next one should be right here, and follow down. Let's see. Should we have it follow to here? Okay, so maybe we just do two. So we're going to do that. Needs to be like... Like here. Uh, 
let's see. Let's go to this, and then we're going to go up to where I get. All right, turn that off. I can't get high enough. Okay. Well, start this way then. And on, honestly, it drives me nuts when it's not uniform. Um, this beam wouldn't necessarily have to be the same as that one, but we could make it the same. You just get the engraving. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate that. It it's not like I don't get um, love and recognition from the studio. They retweet my stuff quite a bit, so uh, it's 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 there. And plenty of people enjoy my videos and thank me for the content. I mean, just like some of you do right now. So I'm I'm not really worried about it. I've all because I'm semi-retired, so I. While it's nice to make a living doing things that you enjoy to do, I also don't have to, if that makes any sense. I don't know if... Uh, I, I'm not reliant on it, I guess is the way to say it. Which is also why you don't see in any of my videos me like, uh, I just found out only 13% of you are subscribed to watch my videos. I don't even... You know, I don't do any of that kind of crap. I'm not begging people to like, comment, subscribe on any of my videos. I just I just do the video and you know, it uh if people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. I'm happy to have people around. I'm happy to help them uh figure out better ways to like uh the most popular one I have for Trout is how to build a better town. And I'm happy to showcase those t to people so that it helps them build better. Because there's a lot of people that are like, ah, I'm just, I'm just not good at building. I'm like, yes, you are. All you have to do is just keep slamming one thing into another thing until it makes something that you think is interesting. That's literally all you got to do. And I think some people are just too self-deprecating when it comes to that. So my videos, the the idea is how is that I show, okay, look, this is how you do it. It's very simple, and that's also my methodology behind it. I won't post a video unless I can easily replicate the thing it is that I did. Like, I'm not going to post a video on that blinking light because I don't even know how the hell it happens. It's awesome, and I get it. It's, it's not awesome when you don't want it, but it is cool, but I, I don't know how the hell it happened. And so... I'm not going to do a video about it because I can't replicate it. Okay, so those are three, three, okay. So let's get our scrolling, one, two, three. And yes, I do have a passion for it, I do enjoy it, and there's plenty of times you can see how excited I am about something, something I found out, something I, oops, I showcased for this, that, or whatever, it's... Yeah, I mean, it's, I, I enjoy playing games. It's, I've always been that person that, um, video games have always been my outlet, along with movies, but specifically video games. I think on this one, as short as it is, we're going to do two. We're going to get the scrolling just a little bit bigger, a little more prominent. Um... I've never, I've never done drugs. I've never been that person that um, uses alcohol. Actually, I've never drank, but I, I don't use alcohol to quote escape from the world. And I'm not saying this because those people are bad. That's not what I'm getting at. For me, the way I deal with the stresses of life is I play video games because it allows me to es that escapism that some do find in drugs, alcohol, or destructive behavior and it's it is laughable when politicians are trying to say oh well games or gaming is what's wrong with the world no um you giving everything to the rich and taking it all from the poor and screwing us over that's what's screwing over the world but that's a different topic for a different type of channel okay so we got that going i like the beams that's good 
We definitely need to do some scroll art over here. I kind of wish the wall wasn't the red, but it's not going to look good if I change to the other. All right, so... So that's three, so we definitely need to come down three. I need to get up higher. Whoop, that didn't work. One more, one more, there we go. And one more that way, that's good enough. All right, so we gotta come... Yeah, let's come down three to make it have the same Not with that tile. To have the same profile as the beam, even though we're not going to come out any further. We're trying to keep things in a in a tone that is familiar. Uh, keeping the uh, architecture familiar so it's not chaos. Even though chaos is, is fine sometimes. And that's two, so we need to make this... Let's do this here. I'll have to change that down there. That's fine. Now. Okay, so if we want to do this... That's three. Honestly, I could. Could bring these up and just leave it like that. Maybe like that right there. Kind of. Kind of that jobby. And then the PS resistance. Let's do. Nope, 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 nope. I had it. Is this one? Okay, so how, do we want to do kind of a mirror of those. So let's do... Two, three, four. I likes it. Okay, let's see how many tiles we are over here. One, two, three, four. Lights, will you stop? Oh! Who is it? Someone tell me. Someone in my comments on YouTube today or yesterday, it, it, like a Ketmall type of person, said they... Okay. I don't know if anybody knows about this, but the tops of, well, like this candle, for example, you see how it's moving me? And something that does it really badly, actually, I know exactly where I can show you. Something that does it really badly is the top of fences or uh, railings or anything like that. So like this right here, I have this inside there, but it actually goes all the way up to the top of this metal. So I can't actually stand on it without sliding. You see, you see how my feet are, are like doing the moonwalk sliding across that? Someone is trying, and, and I'm, I think I'm going to try to get in on the action. So using the round open wind, uh, door socket. And then 
uh, you, you have to bury the the fence to where it comes up just a little bit inside of it, and maybe even put a single row of uh, tile or a block across it. They're trying to make an um, how to explain it? an escalator or, or a conveyor conveyor. They're trying to make a conveyor, and man, if they can get it to work, that's gonna be awesome. I might actually uh, take a little little swig at it and see if I can get it to fig figure it out. Because that'd be so cool. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> These stupid candles. Okay, hang on a second. Yeah, no, it is kind of like that. Okay, so it is below it. That's right. Alright. One, two, three, four, and then that. Let's do that because it'll be easier to do it this way. I still need to get back into Valheim since I haven't been in since Ashlands, and I feel I feel a little dirty that I haven't. But it's life, you know. Don't always have time to do everything you want to do in life. But I did watch the live that the. Uh, their publisher did two days ago, three days ago, right, where it showed that um, they talked to a bunch of the, their different studios, including, uh, what is it, Iron Gate for Valheim. Uh, 1.0 is on the horizon. I mean, that still might be a year away, but it is on the horizon, and it is going to be the Deep North. So, <laughs> it looks like, it looks like eyeballs... Like, like the pub is a, a monster laying down. <laughs> it's just his eyes looking through. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of fitting for being a hollow hall. <laughs> oh, man. That's all right. I am not, I'm not too upset by it. Okay. A slime. Oh, God, it does kind of. Yeah. Oh, I need to figure out where I can put that thing back. Right here, and I move these guys forward. I kind of like that, and it's in a different spot. They can still get around that. They can still get around that. Yeah. I like that. And I'll just move this stuff forward a little bit. Drink the cup in the air. Alright, let's get this guy up here. Oh, is it going to be enough room? Is it going to be enough room? I don't know. It's going to be tight. Might not be able to do it. I mean, technically. It does technically fit. a little odd, but whatever. Alright, so this guy was like this. We're gonna go like that number. That guy was there. And we had this guy here. Let's have a little bit different. They don't all have to be just candles. We could actually be like a... No, you jerk. That gives it a little bit more variety. Okay. 
that's that. Um, if I remember right, this one's bigger and the other is smaller. So let's do that. That looks nice. All right, so we'll call that alco little alcove finished. Uh, most of this is done. I'm gonna move this whole table over. Just do like, just do like that. Now it looks a little more oh, disheveled is quite the right term there, but you know, like they're they're doing their best with the space they have to get everything fit and functional, and it doesn't look too uniform. I I like the structure, like you know, the beams are and columns are exactly the same, but I also like that kind of lo lived-in look, so there is some structure to it but also a little bit of chaos. Not too much. We're not going to go crazy with it, but, but a little bit. I really, really would like to have some kind of a upper cabinets over this, but I just I can't s imagine how I can suspend that and make it look good. And I'll, I'll need to do all the wall treatments, which is going to be it's going to be a pain going through and doing all those essentially mirror this that shape going that direction then going that direction in the middle di slightly different shape and again and again I'm gonna go let's let's go upstairs and get uh, no it's this way let's go downstairs past the whatever this calamity was that all got damaged. Let's look at some roof tiles and see if we can figure out what's going to give us a nice smooth bottom. I would like it to be the stone, but I don't remember if that gives... Let's do here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, let's come down here. That's the wrong one. Oh, can't see anything. Why are you doing that to me? I just want to see the inside. Now screw it. Let's just take this and we'll go down there and we'll try it and see if it looks okay. this maybe oh no, no no wrong uh two meter roofs and that okay so don't like the color but I don't know if there's any that okay this thing is too high and it's in my way 
don't know if there's any that have a black bottom is the problem. to this So there's our light well. I'm not in love with the light color, but I wanted the angle, and well, that's going to give me the angle. And I like th I like it as a light well, so it cool, I guess. Where am I from? Originally, the Midwest of the United States. So I I'm that idiot that says pop instead of Coke or soda. Oh, yeah, I need to fix this. Still a bit too much, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Alright, so that takes care of that. We got our beams. We got our lights. Plenty of light. I might even remove some of the candles now. I don't know that I want to do the ceiling. Uh, the, you know, the quote stained glass. I can't remember. What is that light block called? Ectoplasm block. It's already plenty bright in here. Of course, I do still have a bunch of torches out. Let's uh, remedy that situation. Right meow. Maybe. There we go. You can do it. Maybe you can do it. That's that's one of the uh, one of the <laughs> I don't know quality of light that I would like to see. I would like there it to be much easier to grab objects that are near other. Oh, oh I just saw it grab objects near other objects and one thing that I would like to see is a change in how it does it so if I'm up here and where it says pick up yes it's over this item however I wish the item now had like a little glow to it or something so ob it's clearly obvious to, bo to any of us that play that it's the oven that I'm going to be picking up but like when I was on that, it's kind of hard to tell. Like, okay, where am I right here? Which one of these am I picking up? Well, I gotta get it to actually see. Like, it's still trying to pull. Like that one looks like it's the one in the middle. Is it the one in the middle? Let's find out. It was the one in the middle. 
But it would be nice if we had some kind of a confirmation, like have the one in the middle have a slight glow to it or something. Just, just an ever slight shimmer or I don't know, so that we have visual confirmation that it's picking that thing up and not, oh, the table and st <laughs> pull, pulling the rug out from under, you know. That would be nice. And it would go a long way to, um, well, I mean, it just goes a long way for quality of life. And I'm, sh I'm sure a lot of that is going to happen. Oh, no, I need to go down. Because right now they're just working on content, like, you know, Update 4, which I'm, oh, like, salivating thinking about it. Update 4 is going to, it sounds like it's going to be amazing. I can't imagine it's going to be bad. Uh, let's see. Plates. This way. Yeah, me either. I'm, I'm, I'm hyped, that's for sure. Alright. Plates. Uh, yeah, sure, clay. That's fine. Um, I think clay bowls works fine. But let's also do some copper plates. And some copper bowls. We're gonna need a whole lot of everything else in there too. But for right now, we'll just do that. We'll get some. Uh, let's see. Let me do some scrap mugs. So, okay. I have a feeling as of late, because we haven't gotten much teases for like the last week, that Keen isn't quite as ready as what it seemed like they were a week or two weeks ago. Because I re my original thought, um, let me pull up my calendar here, it was actually a week from today, next Monday, which is the 18th, uh, 21st, excuse me, uh, or sorry, well, Technically, it's Tuesday now because it's 1.55 in the morning. Um, Keen likes to put out updates on Mondays. The contest ends on the 18th, so the 21st is reasonable. It's quite reasonable. They're, they're not going to do it during the contest. I think Cub or Toast even said as much in Discord just because how, what, what kind of a dick move is that to put out new materials after, like, however many people have submitted their contest build and then all of a sudden now there's new materials to build with that that's a huge dick move so we already know it's not coming out prior to the 18th they're not going to put one out on the weekend uh because it's going to be in, they don't need to do go into crunch time just to put out a an update so that leaves a monday through friday again they like mondays so that made sense on the 21st will it be in October, I'm a little less, um, inclined to say it'll hit in October. I think now it might be, like, the first Monday of November kind of thing. Um, that's speculation, of course, everything's speculation, but I think it's soon. I just don't know if it's... Stacking plates is a pain in the butt. Uh, oh, wow. How far in did I put that one? A long way. I just don't think it's like... As soon as people want it, essentially. I don't think it's that soon. So, we'll see. You know, time will tell. Let's put one over here. Copper. Put the bowls in the middle. Now nah, we'll put the bowls up top. They're not straight, and it's driving me crazy. Uh, let's just do drinks over there. Well, 
what is going on with this collision? Weirdness, weirdness. Alright, I'm going to have to get up higher on this. Three's not really getting nah, three sucks. That's another thing. Okay, you know how we have the Y button to take pick up the lat or to remove the uh, you know undo. I want that for placing objects because I can't just go and easily pick up that last pla uh, bowl that I just placed. I'm gonna try to I get right up in its face and hopefully. Am I picking up? I don't know. <sighs> okay, okay. No, no. Okay, I got it on the second try. Yeah, it does. The good thing, ooh, uh, I say good thing, with those plates, with those bowls there, I don't know if I'm going to be able to easily do it. Yeah, I still can't. Okay, so that's alright. Alright, two bowls. We'll leave it. <laughs> Oh, goodness. It's alright. We still enjoy the game, even with a little bit of goofiness going on. Alright, let's put... Where are you at? Right there. We'll do that and a, and a drink for you, even though... See, that. so there's another thing I would like to see fixed. That... Uh, dishes sink into the, the block but they don't, well, they kind of sink into the table. Not always. They're doing it right now but they don't always sink into the table. But they do sometimes and that's kind of annoying. I don't know why the hell they're sinking into the dang table. Or the uh, uh, block, I mean. Put some of these out. Might be one over here. Uh, probably over here, actually. I could put one. Aha. Oh. oh okay. It's the, uh, the anvil. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. I just do like that. That's fine. Maybe these guys over here have their own. A couple of these tables will have have it. Uh it's such a big picture. Okay. Not not many of the tables then. It's a really big picture. Back to some bowls. And then I need more drinks. You got four sir plates. You got four now. You got five over there. You need some more. Can I have some more, please? Alright, so there's all that. There's a bowl for that dude. There's a 
this guy bowl. Um, I could. That's not what I meant. Snapping. I want snapping for things like bowls. Because getting them to stack perfectly vertical is a freaking nightmare. Okay, so we got all that. I don't know what you do. Maybe have some... Aw, oh man. That's another thing. Why can't I... Why do they have the collision as an entire square? Just put the collision around the legs, go up there, so I can put stuff underneath without having to move that whole table. I know that's a silly gripe, but... It is a gripe nonetheless. Okay, let's put a couple of them up there. We'd have a couple up here for... Oh. Yeah, they don't fit very well. Okay, well, I guess we're doing one. I'm not even going to try to pull that back. Alright, that's enough of those. Need some trophies. We're getting there. It's looking pretty good. We got a pretty decent mess hall going on. This thing still needs to be completely done. The bathroom's basically done. I'll do a lot of little tiny details to it, but it's basically done. And the... Other than the tiny details, the prison's basically done. Maybe some mats down or something like that. I need to put a whole bunch of storage stuff right here. Barrels and boxes and whatnot. And then this thing needs all the lighting fixed. It's all weird. And you get it all figured out because it just doesn't look right. Get some books on that. Still got to do that there. So for those who have stopped by, and I appreciate you, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here in a few minutes. But before we do, I have a question for people that you can think about next time you stop by because we're going to be working on this for a little while. What should I do with the actual Hall of Hall itself? So this goes down, and when I mean it goes down, it goes, it, it goes, it goes, it goes down. Like, it goes down, down. Really, really, really far down. I don't really want to go that far down. But these, these columns can definitely go a fair bit more. And now that this is attached, you know, I can come in here and... Maybe maybe the reason it doesn't go any farther is we make it that uh, there was a landslide or something, whatever. Earth subsided, the, or Ember Veil subsided, and too bad, so sad, the rest of that hollow hall's gone. What I don't think I want to do is I don't think I want to actually connect anything. So anything else we do down, I think, would be just for looks. So it's, it really kind of bothersome that we can't place the uh, red it's not red shroud the, the the lava stuff it's not really lava I know but that we can't place that that we can't place the so in the hollow halls they have those like bone piles they have uh, yeah the death block they have the it's not it's not this but it's how we get this that, that material that we have to go get to be able to make the white luminescent block. And it's, you know, it's all across the ground. I wish we could actually place all that stuff. Because then I could just, I don't know, let's say we go down 10 meters more or something like that. And have what looks like some portion of the hollow halls that it, for some reason we just can't get to. It doesn't matter why, we just say that we can't get to. And, and we have it all finished out like it does in a normal hall hall. But we can't really do that. So I'm gonna ha it's going to have to be like a fake it till you make it kind of thing. Um, and then this will be like, I don't know, an altar. You come out and you talk to all your denizens or you would over there or something. So that's pretty much where it's going to be. That 
this side is its own side. This side, this one over here is like the king and queen type side. And then you have the hollow hall proper that really is just going to be a display, if you will. So if people want to think of interesting things to do with it, uh, just you know, keep it in your mind the next time you pop in by and give me some ideas if you want. Because I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. It's a lot of digging. But I, I want to do something. I definitely want to go deeper than it is, to at least an extent. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that sounds good. I think we're going to call it for now. We're at, uh, how far are we? A little over three hours. Uh, my schedule is pretty much every day right now. I'm uh, doing 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I run two to three hours usually. I did five hours last night. We were just on a roll. And it's going to be enshrouded for the foreseeable future, and then it'll be some other things. I'm going to be doing some sunken land at some point. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it co-op with my buddy specifically, but we will do some. I'll do, be doing some sunken land too, and Dystopica, Tiny Glade. Uh, there's a variety of games that I play. A little variety channel, but thank you all for coming. I appreciate you. Have a good night.